Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Jaime and uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make $100 a day with social media marketing agency as a complete beginner. I'm going to be giving you a step-by-step -step guide on how to actually get there in a very methodical and mathematical way. By the end of this, it's going to be insanely clear for you how to actually get to that $100 a day with your social media marketing agency. And so without further ado, let's get right into it. And I've got a few notes right here on my computer. I'm going to be walking you through uh, the math and the calculation that I've done and that I've put together for you guys. And so the first thing that we need to do is obviously reach out to business owners, right? And so first things first, you've gone ahead and picked your niche. Maybe your niche is fitness in the e-com space. Uh, and then you've gone ahead and picked your service. Maybe your service is Facebook ads. After that, you've probably gone ahead and put together your business mission. So what is it that you actually help them do? Uh, and what is, what, what is the outcome that they're looking for? For example, it could be we help fitness brands uh, double their sales online using the power of Facebook ads uh, or something like that, right? So that is your business mission. And the next thing you've gone ahead and done is you've picked your outreach methods. And here is where we come in. Here's where I'm gonna be showing you how to actually get to that $100 a day mark. And let's, let's say that you, you know, one of those outreach methods and, and that I personally recommend you always have, and in my opinion, along with LinkedIn, is really the bread and butter of any outreach strategy, and that is cold email. And so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna set a benchmark of sending 200 emails a day. Now, that is not an absurd amount. It's not an easy task, right? But look, if you're looking for a way to make money online very easily uh, and, and just get rich very quick, this channel is probably not for you, right? I'm going to be showing you how to actually get there to that $100 a day mark. How it's actually very achievable to do and the math behind it, but it's certainly not going to be this easy thing that you just wake up and all of a sudden $100 a day is just coming in uh, pretty much on autopilot uh, to your bank, okay? So that is that you've gone ahead and picked email. You've gone ahead and sent out 200 emails to qualified business owners in your niche. Now, little note on here, I will make sure that you have good deliverability for your email. Just make sure that your emails are landing on their inbox and not their spam folder but let's just assume that you have a very uh, conservative 50% open rate, okay? Which is pretty conservative, uh, especially in the e-com space, okay? So let's just say that you have a 50% open rate. That is the total of 100 emails that have been opened on a daily basis by business owners who are in your niche. You know, decent email copy and a decent headline, and most importantly, a good call to action. For example, a no obligation call, right, with you, uh, where you cover X, Y, and Z, uh, and making it very clear for them that they're not gonna waste their time. Let's just go ahead and say that you've sparked their interest, and 10% of those people are gonna go ahead and reply to your email. Okay, so that would be a total of 10 emails. Now, the next thing is let's let's go ahead and be conservative again. And let's say that out of the 10% that reply, so 10 emails back, you get from 200 emails sent. And let's go ahead and say that, you know, you reply with, for example, Loom or something like that, uh, that actually adds massive value. And it's very clear that you are valuable and that you are not gonna waste their time. So let's be conservative and let's say that 10 to 20% actually book in a call with you, okay? So that would be one to two appointments booked from 200 emails sent on a daily basis, which actually comes out to be a 1% booking rate. Okay. So now we've talked about the actual outreach. The next phase is the meeting. Okay. So let's just say, let's just assume that 10% of those people don't show up. Make sure, uh, by the way, make sure that you have reminders in place with whatever um, with whatever scheduling software you are using. You can find the one I recommend in the description down below. Uh, and um, let's just say that 10% don't show up. Now, let's just say that 40% aren't qualified or they just can't afford your services. Okay. Which is a a pretty high number, but let's just say that, you know, let's just be conservative. I, I want to be very conservative. One of the things you guys might know about me is that I don't like to be this, you know, very overly optimistic and, you know, sell you this dream, okay? So but let's just be very conservative and let's just say that 40% of those people are not qualified. The next thing we're going to assume is that your close rate is not going to be the best close rate, uh, you know, just yet, uh, simply because, you know, if you guys, for example, have seen my first uh, client signing, it wasn't great, right? And so sales is one of the, those things that, yes, you can get a lot of training, you can get a lot of, you know, techniques down, et cetera, et cetera, but it also comes down to a lot of practice. And so that is why I told you guys, you need to have a predictable stream of meetings being booked, uh, ideally completely on autopilot, like is the case for my agency, where I booked, for example, 111 meetings uh, the previous month. Uh, but let's just say that your close rate is not great. And so we are only gonna be closing at the end of the day, we're only gonna be closing 5% of all the meetings that we land, simply because of the show up rates, simply because the close rate is not great. 40% to be precise are not gonna be qualified. So now we know that we are gonna be closing 5% of all those meetings that we land. So now bringing everything full circle and bringing everything together we have sent 200 emails on a daily basis and let's just say that we are consistent and let's just say that we do that every single day of the month so that would be 4,000 emails per month you're probably not sending out emails on weekends um now with the one percent booking rate that i told you guys about and, and that we calculated that would be 40 appointments booked for each month 
which is a pretty good number, it's a solid number. It's a, it's a number that you guys should be aiming for. 30, 40 meetings per month is just a, a really good number that you guys uh, should aim for. Um, and if you don't, if you have below 20 meetings or even 50 meetings, that is a very low number. It's, it's going to be quite hard to scale an agency without uh, booking meetings uh, predictably. Okay, so we've got 40 appointments per month, and then we've got a 5% close rate, which means you're signing two deals every single month. Okay, you're signing two deals every single month by sending 200 emails every single day and with the data that I gave you guys, okay? Now, let's just assume, again, be cons uh, being conservative, um, let's just assume that the average deal is gonna be $1,500 a month. I would say I'm just, you know, completely just taking a look at the data for my mentorship students, et cetera, et cetera. I would say that the average reta retainer is around two, uh, 2K, uh, 2.1, 2.2, uh, 2.5 even, but let's just be conservative again uh, and let's just say that you close them for $1,500 a month. That would be, that would come out to be $3,000 that single month, okay? Which comes out to be roughly $100 a day. And so that is how you get to $100 a day with your social media marketing agency using this process and method that I showed you, right? And hopefully uh, hopefully you guys can see that this is not you know, me pulling out numbers out of nowhere, right? These are very conservative numbers and numbers that you can aim for, okay? And, and that you should aim for. Now, let's just say that you have a retention rate of seven to eight months. And one of the things that you guys will realize about me is that I'm completely obsessed with client experience and just providing incredible uh, reporting and communication and results for my clients, right? So my average retention rate is 14 months. I've said that in previous videos. I'm going to keep bragging about it. Uh, but let's just say that you have a uh, retention rate of seven to eight months, okay? So that would be 24,000 in the bag with this uh, two deals and by sending out 200 emails uh, a day. And not only that, but when you have a good retention rate, you are building client on top of client. And that is how you want to build uh, an agency. And so I really hope you guys can see just how doable this is. If you actually put in the work, if you actually uh, not, not just send out a bunch of emails, but you actually take a look at the data that's coming back, iterate, you know, ideally even improve these numbers that I, I, I gave you guys, um, because it's not, you know, set on stone. It's something that can definitely be improved. It's definitely very conservative numbers. These numbers are for complete beginners who are just getting started. If you've already been running your agency for a while, you've been doing outreach for a while now. Um, these numbers are quite conservative and I'm hoping you're taking a look at the data, seeing what, you know, seeing what's coming back, iterating according to feedback, and then, you know, making those email copies and, and those headlines and that call to action very, very strong. But hopefully this excites you guys and hopefully you guys can see just the insane potential and the power of SMA. Simply because I feel like the numbers aren't really broken down very often in the space. Uh, and uh, hopefully you guys can see with this kind of, you know, maths approach, or hopefully it wasn't too intense. Uh, I don't think it was, but, um, you know, you, you guys can, can clearly see that this is a very uh, doable goal. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, drop a big thumbs up. Uh, YouTube just loves when that thing turns blue. And so uh, I'd really appreciate it. Also leave down below any comments, any questions you may have on this video. And let me know what are some of the videos that you'd like to see next. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, there's so much content on entrepreneurship and a 360 approach to SMMA with a specific focus on sales and outreach and e-commerce. And so if you don't want to miss that out, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the little uh, bell icon uh, so you don't miss any videos because I'm going to be uploading four to five times a week. And the final thing is, if you want to get a bit more information on how to start your social media marketing agency, I've got a free masterclass. This is not a typical masterclass where there's a big paywall at the end. There's actually nothing for sale. And just the, the feedback that I've been getting on, on this masterclass, insane. You know, people are literally taking this stuff and applying it to getting quite a results with their agency and sign more clients so if you want to check that out go ahead and check out the link in bio and as always guys hope everything's going well in your agency journey and i will see you in the next one peace